Mastering, Recount the Events, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful world of the English language. Today, we have a very interesting topic to explore, recount the events. This phrase might seem simple, but it's packed with nuance and is essential for anyone looking to master English storytelling or reporting. So, let's unravel the layers of meaning behind this phrase and how you can use it effectively in your conversations and writings. Recount the events is a phrase that means to tell a story or describe what happened in a detailed manner. When you recount events, you're not just listing what occurred, you're painting a picture with words, allowing your listeners or readers to visualize the sequence of actions or occurrences as if they were witnessing them firsthand. Key points to remember, detail is crucial. The more vividly you can describe the events, the better your audience will understand and engage with your story. Chronological order matters. Typically, recounting events involves following the order in which things happened, which helps in maintaining clarity and coherence. Emotions and reactions. Don't forget to include how people felt or reacted during these events, as this adds depth and relatability to your narrative. To bring this concept to life, let's go through a couple of examples. 1. Personal experience. Imagine you're recounting the events of your first day at a new job. You would start from the moment you woke up. Describe your journey to the office, your first impressions, the people you met, and how you felt throughout the day. 2. Historical event. If you're discussing a significant moment in history, like the moon landing, you would detail the preparations leading up to the event, the launch, the astronauts' experiences, the landing itself, and the global reaction to this monumental achievement. These examples show that whether you're sharing personal stories or historical facts, the essence of recounting events remains the same, to inform, engage, and transport your audience to another time and place through your narrative. To enhance your ability to recount events compellingly, consider the following tips. Be descriptive. Use vivid language to create a mental image. Include dialogues. If applicable, sharing conversations that happened can add a layer of realism. Focus on the senses. Mentioning what you or the subjects of your recount, saw, heard, touched, smelled, or tasted can greatly enrich your story. Maintain pace. Ensure your recounting maintains an engaging pace, balancing between fast-moving parts and slower, more descriptive sections. We hope this guide helps you understand how to effectively recount the events in English. This skill is not just about sharing information but about storytelling, engaging your audience, and making them feel as though they're part of the experience. Remember, practice makes perfect, so take every opportunity to narrate your stories, whether they're personal anecdotes or historical narratives. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy storytelling!